good, how are you? I think I'm gonna do, is there the pumpkin chai? 20 ounce iced with oat milk, please. Is it too late to ask for a bagel? No, okay, no, could, it, could I do an everything bagel? Thank you. Everything. Okay, yeah, no worries. You can have some of it too. Thank you. That's not normal. <laughs> Hey guys, we are on our way to our fall I pumpkin. I don't say guys. Hey girls. <laughs> we are on our way up to the pumpkin patch venue. We had a good day yesterday. A little slower than we would have wanted, but still a good day and it was sunny and today's looking like a nice day. So we're heading up there and we're gonna get set up. We're excited to have you hang out with us too up there and see all the ins and outs of us not only setting up but also interacting with customers and what we do in between sessions when there's a little slower downtime. We're excited for you to see all that. And yeah. <laughs> welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cameron and I have run the crochet boutique called Cameron's Cute Creations. My husband Peyton is who did the intro <laughs> and he helps me with my markets sometimes as well. I don't know what he's saying that we're, you're gonna hang out with us today because he usually just helps me set up and then he leaves. But <laughs> we will be hanging out today at the pumpkin patch. I'm super excited that you're coming with me today on my channel. I love sharing tips and tricks, industry secrets, all the things you need to know about selling and profiting at craft shows in your area as well. So if that interests you, be sure to subscribe because I have a ton of vlogs coming up. This is actually my fifth weekend up at this venue. I'm up there for a total of seven weekends. So we're almost done with this season, which is so crazy. It went by so fast. I ran to a coffee shop. I got myself a bagel with cream cheese. I also, of course, got myself a chai tea latte because I mean, come on. I love this coffee shop we've been going to because they write little, little messages on the top and mine says there is a power in kindness. What does yours say? You are more than enough. You are more than enough. So remember, there is a power in kindness and you are more than enough. Okay, that's our inspiration for the day. I'm so excited to see what sells today. I'm running super low on a bunch of my sizes. So I'm a little nervous about that. Peyton's family is actually coming up to the venue today as well to visit me. They like to come every season, which is so much fun to see them. Recently, Sundays have been a bit slower than my Saturdays, which is really weird because usually it's not as slow as it's been this year, but whatever. We're still going to go do it and we're going to see how it goes, but we are on our way up there. We're running a little bit late. I feel like all of my vlogs, I'm like, I'm running late, but I promise you, we always get set up at least before the event starts. Any last thoughts? We're here with Hello Kitty. I don't have anything. He doesn't have anything. Okay. So I guess we will just touch base when we are up at the venue getting all set up and I can't wait for today. Thanks again for coming with me and I hope you enjoy the vlog. fill up something here but I don't have anything right now little pumpkin patch area <laughs> so empty I feel like this looks really empty Peyton is running home to grab chickens because I sold all of them yesterday guys up to today just this you know green blab it's so pretty today is, i'm like yeah. what the heck i'm glad i wore layers i was like oh my gosh <laughs> how much are your little pumpkins the mini ones are five <laughs> well thank you very much do you want a bag for it you're good carry it okay sounds good <laughs> do you have any dogs 
Uh, we have three dogs. You have three dogs? Yeah. <laughs> little update it's a lot warmer than we thought it was gonna be I am so glad that I wore layers and Peyton brought me some chickens but totally forgot to grab lunch so he's actually grabbing me lunch right now gonna bring me up some snacks to munch on Peyton's family came and visited me so that was a lot of fun it's a lot slower today than I was expecting it is really nice and there's also vendors across the street on Sundays and it is super busy over there Next year, I'm almost thinking maybe I need to be across the street just because the traffic is crazy busy and it's weird because it's just across the street. But anyways, we still have a few hours left, so I'm excited to see if it picks up a little bit. I'm trying to stay cool in the shade, but it is a warm one today. It's fun. It's beautiful up here chit-chatting with a lot of people. Our community is just so amazing and I can't wait to keep you updated on how the rest of the day goes. <laughs> Thank you so much. You want a bag for us? Okay. All right. See ya. We have about 15 minutes minutes left. I just checked my sales and I ended up doing a little bit better today than I thought. I will definitely go over my best sellers and all of the other details when I get home, but Peyton. Hi. Peyton is here with me and my dad is also here. They're going to help me tear down. So let's do that right now. gonna get stuck in traffic on our way home but Peyton is driving me home I'm riding passenger princess and I wanted to chat about how today went it was how would you explain today it was a good nice day it was a nice day it went good Peyton wasn't there the whole time he did run up and bring me a ton of stuff today because what was the first thing you brought me Chicken chickens i had no chickens i didn't realize i sold all the chickens that i brought yesterday and i had more at home but i forgot to grab them and another vendor wanted to buy three of them for me and i go oh my gosh i thought i at least had three left and so peyton ran home he grabbed chickens for me that was kind of the morning it was pretty slow this morning noon it started to pick up a bit and that's when i made the bulk of my sales and i think having the chickens definitely helped not only draw customers in but i sold a lot of the chickens as well so there are vendors across the street from us and i had a couple vendors go spy apparently it's way busier across the street which i didn't think would affect our sales that much but i think it definitely has because sundays they're only there across the street on sundays and on sundays i've been quite a bit slower and i think that might be why but i'm gonna try to get into that farm next year we will see peyton then ran and grabbed me lunch and then my phone was dying because i forgot to plug in my portable charger again it did last me four full days though four full days and then it finally did die on me and i should have known that i should have plugged it in i saw it was low battery that was that was my bad but peyton brought me another portable charger he saved the day again Peyton just saves, he saves the day. Every time. Every time. My dad and Peyton helps me with setup and teardown. So setup and teardown were 
so quick. If you have friends or family that are willing to help you with your setup and teardown, do it, do it. It goes by so much quicker, but I will say for yours, I did it alone. Peyton, he wouldn't help me. Well, we weren't even dating when I first started, but we were friends, but you. I was in Japan. Sorry, I didn't fly back. Sorry, <laughs> sorry I didn't fly back to help you when we were just friends and I was living in Japan. Dad would help me at those shows a lot, but mostly I would just borrow one of my parents' cars and I would go set up alone. Now at these markets, the big ones that I do, I do a huge display and I usually like having that help. Today we set up in probably half an hour-ish tonight tearing down took about half an hour we just unloaded all of my stuff at my parents i use their third garage bay to keep all of my inventory stuff they're super nice to let me store everything there because we don't have a lot of space where we're living but i'm super tired i only have two weekends left i feel like this is the part in my season where a ton of my sizes of things are selling out that was the other thing i made these i'll show you i made these little velvets it looks like the velvet plus yarn but um from Bernat, but this is actually a walmart brand i got years ago i tried making a sweater with it and it did not turn out right so i frogged the whole thing and now i just have a ton of this yarn i'm making the baby bear hats and i think i sold three of them this weekend and i only put like four of them out and then i whipped up about five more so i'll put these out next weekend these were selling for me and they were whipping up super quick this is just the baby bear hat i used with the Bernat yarn so i'm just using it with the velvet and it's so cute and so how Highly recommend using super soft yarn on the baby bear hats i sold so many baby bear hats it was insane so we have two weekends left and i only have one newborn velvet hat left a couple sizes of the toddler and child and maybe one baby hat left and everything else is sold out i do have more adult sizes left they haven't been selling as well for me this year the baby stuff has been selling much better for me this year but i still think that's because we haven't had a super cold day yet yesterday was colder and i sold way more adult beanies than today today i don't even know i sold one adult beanie i'm pretty sure it's harder to sell the beanies when it's warm kate and i are gonna go home and we're gonna make some fried rice we're gonna snuggle miss alice and we are gonna kind of chill for the rest of the night but i just want to thank you so much for coming with us today to the market i always have so much more fun when you come with me to these things i'm looking forward to finishing off the season the next couple weekends again thanks for coming with me i would love to keep hanging out with you here on youtube so if you want to keep hanging out i will see you my friend in this video right here bye